Good day. We are here today to discuss the additional fund needed and the projected financial statement. Tell us all about the brain company, income statement, and statement of financial position. Brain company's income statement is shown. And statement of financial position. Here's the additional information and the problem that we're going to discuss and answer. Number one, what is the expected increase in sale? To get this, sale of 8,500,000 times 15%, which is going to be 1.15 equals 9,775,000 thousand minus eight million five hundred thousand which is the sale which is the sale equals one million two hundred seventy five thousand so the expected increase in sale is one million two hundred seventy five thousand number two the rate of spontaneous asset to sales to get the rate spontaneous asset, current asset should be divided to sale, which is 5,100,000 divided 8,500,000 equals 60%. Third, the expected increase in current asset. Current asset of 5,100,000 times 15% of X. Expected sale increase next year is equal to 5,865,000 minus 5,100,000 equals 765,000 is the expected increase of the current asset. Number four, the rate of spontaneous liabilities to sale. The current liabilities is 2,125,000 divided by 8,500,000, which is yung sale, it is equal to 25%. So 25% is the rate of spontaneous liability to sale. Spontaneous increase in current liability. Para makuha natin yung current liability, yung 2,125,000, imumultiply natin siya sa expected increase in sales of 1.15 equal 2,443,750 minus 2,125,000 equal 318,750 is the spontaneous increase in current liability. Number six, the projected sales is 8,500,000 multiply expected increase in sales of 1.15 equals, so the projected sales is 9,775,000. Number seven, the projected cost of sales is The current asset of 5,100,000 multiplied 1.15 expected increase in sales equal 5,865,000 is projected cost of sales. Projected gross profit is the gross profit of 3,400,000 multiplied expected increase in sales of 1.15 equal 3,910,000 is the projected gross profit. Number nine, projected operating expenses. Operating expenses of 2,500,000 
times expected increase in sales of 1 by 15 equals 2 million and 875,000 is the projected operating expenses. Projected net in income after tax is net in income of 630,000 times expected increase of sale 1.15 equals 74,500 is the projected net income after tax. Number 11, the increase in retained earnings. Projected net income after tax is 724,500 times expected retained earnings of 40%, which is going to be 0 0.40 equals 289,800. Number 12, additional fund needed. 765,000, the expected increase of the current assets, 318,750, this continuous increase in current liability, the increase in returned earnings of 289,800 equals 156,450. Number 13. Total current asset in the projected financial statement. Next. Current asset of 5,100,000 times expected increase in sales of 1.15 equals 5,865,000. Next. Number 14, current liabilities in the projected financial state. Next. Current liabilities of 2,125,000 times expect, expected increase in sales of 1.15 equals 2,443,750. Next. Number 15, retain earning in the projected financial statement. Next. Retain earnings of 1 million plus increase in retain earnings of 289,800 equals 1,289,800. Number 16. The total asset in the projected financial statement. Next. Total asset of 9,600,000 plus expected increase of current assets of 765,000 equals 10,365,000. And that's conclude our discussion for today. Hope you learned something. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye and thank you. Bye.